Hi kids, Mr. Joseph's here. This is our first lab that we're going to do, and there's some prep work that's involved. So I'm going to first read this introduction there material to you and then tell you what you need to do to get ready for the lab. Okay, so it's Locard's Exchange Principle in Action. So Edmund Locard in 1910 persuaded the police department in Lyons, France to give him two attic rooms and two assistants to start the world's first police laboratory. During his first years of work, the only instruments available to Locard were a microscope and a rudimentary spectrometer. However, his enthusiasm quickly overcame the technical and monetary deficiencies that he encountered. From these modest beginnings, Locard's research and accomplishments became known throughout the world by forensic scientists and criminal investigators. It was Locard's belief that when a criminal came in contact with an object or person, a cross-transfer of evidence occurred. This became known as the Locard's Exchange Principle. Locard strongly believed that every criminal can be connected to a crime by dust particles carried from the scene, the crime scene. This concept was reinforced by a series of successful and well-published investigations. In one case, confronted with the counterfeit coins and the names of three suspects, Locard urged the police to bring the suspect's clothing to his laboratory. Upon careful examination, he located small metallic particles in the garments. Chemical analysis revealed that the particles in the coins were composed of exactly the same metallic elements. Confronted with this evidence, the suspects were arrested and soon confessed to the crime. Every time you make contact with a person or object, there is an exchange of materials. This could mean the transfer of fibers, hairs, wood shavings, metal filings, tidbits of paper, or any small lightweight item adherent to the donor object. <coughs> this exchange enables forensic scientists to determine where someone has been based on trace evidence. Trace evidence is a tiny little bits of evidence that you have. It is even possible to track a person's daily movements by examining his or her clothing. So in this experiment, we're going to do this. So the materials you're going to need, you're going to need forceps, which are like tweezers, a hand lens, which is like a microscope, I mean a magnifying glass, and several small envelopes or sheets of notepaper, we'll use sheets of notepaper, and uh, a microscope and slides. So you'll have to do this at, at in school, hopefully. If you virtual kids, you'll have to make do if you have some of this stuff. So, for this activity, you are going to need one of the following. So, either a brand new t-shirt taken directly from the package, or a t-shirt that's been washed and dried separately. Otherwise, fabrics um, washed along with the t-shirt will transfer fibers. The lint in your tumble dryer must be well cleaned beforehand, or if you... So, uh, the other thing... You could, I'm not going to be super picky on it. Get a clean shirt. Wear a clean shirt. So on day one, so for uh, cohort B, that would be either um, tomorrow, Wednesday, or Thursday. Or if you get see this video soon enough, you could do it today as well. So you're going to wear a t-shirt on the day before the laboratory period. Um, but Or if you have, it could be a couple days before. Uh, re number two, record your movements during the day. So describe the type of locations and the people and the animals and activities you encounter. All right, so keep it uh, like a, a log. It doesn't have to be super detailed, but do, do say where you've been, what you've been doing. At the end of the day, seal the T-shirt in a zip-top bag, Ziploc bag, and bring it into school. So you're going to have it sealed in a bag so that it doesn't get any more transfer of materials to it after the activities of your day. And then day two, when you're here at school, we'll be examining the T-shirt for different pieces of trace evidence and see if you can match up that trace evidence to the locations that you were at. All right. So that is the goal. And so <clears throat> you have a little bit of prep work before you come to school. Okay.